I'd like to show you how this enterprise service robot is created and is implemented um, in in Java. First off, we have the profile server list, which says something about the robot's name, where it can get the image and the URL for this uh, robot. Then we, the first time the the robot is added to a wave, we listen for the event self added. And when this is uh, created, we create a new bleep containing uh, some information for this conversation. Uh, in this one, we first get uh, a list of uh, all the materials. When we have retrieved this list, we create a, a form. And then we create this uh, whole list of all the elements, uh, the, the name of the, the ID, the name, and the uh, material ID. Uh, on this one. So how do we call the enterprise services from uh, the app engine? Uh, we use, uh, first off, we get this uh, soap envelope and this is just plain soap uh, we are crafting here. Then we uh, use this uh, helper which opens a connection, adds some uh, different properties and then send the message we have uh, given it and return, uh, give us a, a connection uh, returned. When we have received the connection, we can then start uh, a parser, passing the, the data we have received. And this is done using SAC, so we listen for some events in the XML document. First off, we listen for the start and save the element, uh, the, the tag of the uh, name of the tag. For every time we are in a character, or which is the text, then we save the look if it's ID, material, or description, and save those to the material. And then when we reach the end of the line, we have the individual material. We save this whole material. And when we have in the loop, we also save the data into the memory cache, so we can retrieve it later. Um, when the user clicks one of these buttons, we listen for the event button click. And in this one, we also verify that it's not uh, ourselves or the user from G-Wave, which is uh, some of the Google robots like Linky or Spelly, which does some uh, analyzing of the document. So the first time the, the button the user clicks does not contain create. So we'll go down to this section here. And in this section, we will uh, create a new form with the description and then a, a text box the user can enter the text in. When the user then clicks the create button, we go into the new uh, the create area. And in this one, we first retrieve the ID and the description from the two elements uh, we have created. We create a new service request thing, uh, element, uh, object. And then we have uh, in this uh, object, we do it uh, basically the same way. We create a new service request, which also just is uh, soap with the two uh, description, uh, the two text inside. Um, and we open the connection and then we start the parser. And in this parser, we save the element and name. Um, we are looking to have uh, some kind of regular expression here. And then if we are in the service request, we save it as a service request. And that's what the first call does. Then next call is the get status. The get status just query. Um, the service request with the ID, and then we just save all the elements inside the cache um, so they can be used from there. And then the data is uh, displayed to the user uh, just using uh, an enumeration or with, and then we add the test, uh, the person's test user to it. Thanks for watching.